I got him. I got him. I finally got him. What did I get? The Easy 350 Oreos. And we're gonna do the unboxing and review right after this. She want that Birkin. On the gram, she twerking. Get your feelings hurt for lurking. That yeah. fat for certain. Let me see you poke it up. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see what that's about. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. So what's going on guys, it's your boy Moises If you're new to the channel, just to let you know This channel is going to consist of sneaker reviews, clothing reviews, fashion tips, music reviews And as you can see in the back, I'm going to be dropping my own music on this channel I uh, just dropped a EP called Hefe, um, it's a 7 song EP So make sure you guys check that out, it's going to be in the description below But without further ado Let's get into the unboxing. So, to start off, you have the 350 written across the top of the box. Then you have that big beautiful boost written across on the other side. And then you have the SKU tag on the other side. And then on the other end of the box, you have the 350 Yeezy Boost. Now, um, just to let you guys know, this is probably one of the most anticipated releases for March. Definitely for myself. Uh, these were originally dropped in 2016. I wasn't able to get a, a pair in 2016, but I was able to get these. I actually got these off of Confirm. This has been my only hit for this year so far. Uh, so let me know how you guys got your pairs if you decided to get a pair. Um, resale on the market is not too bad. But let's get into these guys. So you have the exposed black and white boost at the bottom. Then making your way up, you have the comfortable 350 boost sole. Then making your way up towards the top of the sneaker. You had the prime knit, all black. And then you have your Oreo stripe. It's kind of like a cream with the 350 spline written across it. And then you have the Oreo speckles that come through on the prime knit. And you know, this pair, man, they're just really, really classic. Um, this is like the year of the 350. It's just been awesome as far as trying to cop all of the um, restocking that has been coming out. We started off with the blue tint, then we got the blue stripe 350. Now we got these, and they're talking about that the red stripe is gonna be dropping soon also. So I'm definitely looking forward to these. Well, to the, the, the red stripe, definitely looking forward to that. Let me know what you guys think. Um, so as far as sizing goes, I did go with a size 11. My true to size is a 10 and a half, but as you know, you have to half size up with Yeezys because their sizing is literally all over the place. None of their shoes are ever consistent. So they are a little snug when I go up to the size 11. So if you do have wide feet, I do suggest going up a full size. So if you're a 10 and a half like myself, I suggest going up to 11 and a half should give you more room in the toe box area and your foot won't feel so squished. I love these pair of Yeezys, man. Um, the 350s will always be a classic to me. Um, I just love them, man. Um, I love the 450s, I love the 700s, but these are just a classic in my opinion. It's retailed at for $230 retail, so just a slight $10 increase from what it was originally and can't go wrong man 350 easy oreos let me know what you guys think make sure you like comment subscribe and hit that bell icon so when i drop new videos you guys will be notified right away it's your boy moises appreciate you guys y'all have a great one see y'all next time she want that Birkin. On the gram, she twerking. Get your feelings hurt for lurking. That yeah. fat for certain. Let me see you poke it up. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah. Let me see what that's about. Let's cold.